Hey everybody, let's use the free fall formula to solve a couple problems uh, involving freely falling objects. So the distance formula that we use is distance is one half gt squared, where d is the distance and we use meters. g is the acceleration of gravity on Earth. Um, that could change depending on what planet you're on. Um, and that's uh, 9.81 meters per second squared and our time will be given in seconds. And this problem asks how far does an object fall in the first 10 seconds of free fall? And that's assuming that we don't have any friction. So we just plug into this to solve for the distance, 1 half times 9.8 meters per second squared times 10 seconds squared. The seconds squared cancel out and we're left with the units of meters, which we want. And let's see, half of 9.8 is 4.9. 10 squared is 100, so that should be 490 meters. So in the absence of any friction due to air resistance, um, a freely falling object will fall 490 meters in the first 10 seconds. Okay, for our second example, let's ask how long should it take for a freely falling object to fall from the top of the Empire State Building, which is 1,250 feet high, to the street? assuming that there's no air resistance. And the second question I want to ask is how fast will it be falling just before it hits the ground? So we'll write out our distance equation. Distance is 1 half gt squared. That's the free fall formula. And we're going to have to rearrange that. So uh, we'll multiply both sides by 2. We're trying to solve for the time. So 2d is uh, gt squared. Now we'll divide by the acceleration of gravity g, so 2d over g is now equal to t squared. And finally, to solve for time, you're going to have to take a square root. So the time is equal to the positive square root of 2d over g. We don't care about the negative square root. So in this case, just plugging in our numbers, we have time is equal to 2 times the distance. Now, let's see. We need to go back and change 1,250 feet into meters. We have to use um, a consistent set of units, and we're using SI units in this case. So I happen to know that there's 3.28 feet in every one meter, so that's a pretty simple um, unit conversion. The feet cancel, and uh, so the Empire State Building is 381 meters tall. And then we divide by G, 9.8 meters per second squared. If I cancel some units here, uh, meters will cancel meters. I'm left with 1 over seconds squared, but I'll be taking the square root of that, so it's 1 over seconds, 1 over 1 over seconds. So that's going to be um, time in seconds. I wrote it as second squared, but I meant seconds. So if you just do that arithmetic, the time is 8.82 seconds. The second question is how fast will this object be falling? Well, we just use the acceleration definition. Acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. The change in time is the full 8.82 seconds. The initial velocity, of course, is zero, so that doesn't matter. So we really just have a is equal to v over t, and that v will be the final velocity just before the object hits the ground. So if I solve for that by multiplying t on both sides, I have v equals a t. A is, of course, the <clears throat> uh, acceleration of gravity. So it's 9.8 meters per second squared times 8.82 seconds. And then if I multiply those two things, my units are going to be meters per second, and it should be 86.41 meters per second. Just out of curiosity, let's convert that to uh, miles per hour. 86.41 meters per second. Um, in every mile, there's 1609 meters. I just remember that. And let's see, there's 3,600 seconds in every hour. So let's see, meters cancels, cancels meters, seconds cancel seconds. So I'm in miles per hour now, and that is roughly 193 miles per hour. Now something that falls from that height rarely gains that kind of um, velocity because of air resistance. So um, something dropped, dropped off that building won't really be going that fast when it hits the ground.